Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Endless Stormer back in the video. Today, we're going to be doing Zero Predictions for August 12th, 2016. And it will be week 101. Now, I think for the Hunter, he's going to bring the Crest of Alvalupe. <clears throat> now, the Crest of Alvalupe is an amazing exotic chest plate. You can pretty much revive your fallen teammates quicker, and you'll be revived faster. And your super will generate an extra orb, which is always useful. And you can reroll it to any perks that you want with glass needles. Alright. Alright, so next for the Warlock, I think he's going to bring the exotic chest plate, Avoid Fang Vestments. Now, the exotic perk, Hungering Void, spawn with full grenade energy, and your Axe Hand Bolt grenade spawns an additional Seeker. So pretty much, if you're on Void Walker, you'll have two uh, additional Seekers. So when you throw your Axe Hand Bolt, two will come out instead of one. And... Every time you spawn, you f spawn with full grenade energy. That could be for any grenade in the that a warlock has. So it doesn't just have to be axe handle. It could be uh, like any grenade that you want. So fusion grenades or fireball grenades. Any of those, you will spawn with full grenade energy when you respawn. Alright, so now for the titan, I think he's going to bring the exotic gauntlets called the Immolation Fist. Now, the exotic perk, Accelerant, unlocks the Sunbreaker subclass node, Explosive Pry for free. Enemies brought down by your hammer explode, chaining fiery solar damage to other enemies. This is really good if you like to use Sunbreaker. And if you like to use that perk that I just said, Explosive Pry, for free. So you could use any other perk on that node subclass part. It's pretty good if you like to use Sunbreaker. I would definitely try it out if you use Sunbreaker. And then... For the exotic weapon, I think he's going to bring nice Hawkmoon. Now, Hawkmoon has, is a very, very good hand cannon. There's luck in the chamber for one random bullet to do more damage, and it also has holding aces, two ran more random bullets in your magazine deal bonus damage. So pretty much three bullets in your magazine do bonus damage. So that gives you a chance to sh two-shot people, which is actually crazy. And it could shoot. It's a great hand cannon, and if you do not have it yet, I de definitely recommend picking it up. And then, for the Legacy Engram, I think he's going to bring a heavy. Prepare the now, Legacy Engrams will only give you year one heavies, so it will not go to year two, but that means you will unlock it. So, say you haven't unlocked Truth yet. If you get Truth through a Legacy Engram, and you don't have it for year two, it will unlock, and then you could buy it for Exotic Shard and some Glimmer. Before I end off the video, guys, today, thank you guys so much for 71 subscribers. It means the world to me that I just hit 70 subs. Thank you guys so much for the support, Lily, too. It, it's just crazy. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support, Lily. And yeah, peace.